It was a 24th of June. And these was a fair few offences that I was in court for. Just going through my head thinking, what if I go to prison all my family and that, it's going to be all left behind and scared and worried, thinking that they're not going to come and see you and how long am I going to get. Mates were saying to me, like, don't drop your soap for bigger boys and stuff like that and just keep your saying to your saying and whack the biggest one in there. It's mad that did that many different things go through your head. You go in and everyone's looking at you. I went in the courtroom and said, take it off now. And stand straight with your hands out of your pockets. So I stood there and you know, they read all the charges to you and then they ask you if you're guilty or not guilty. You tell them they're all, all talking and then it goes to solicitors, speaks for you and, and you're not knowing what's going on. It gets confusing and you start asking each other what's happening or what do you think I'm getting and, and how long are you going to be taking and, and then they obviously go out and make a decision. You stood there worried, I'm going to get something bad, good. Is it prison sentence? Is it this? Are you getting tagged? Are you getting new funny team? Are you getting good stuff? Are you getting bad stuff? You start thinking, what a knobhead I am for committing all these crimes and then, and then they come back out and tell you answer and it's too late. You can't take it back once you've done your crimes. The judge makes his decision and comes out and they looked at me and they said, we've got some bad news. And he said to me, you've got four months. And then he banged a little hammer thing on the table. And then the, the two officers come in and just took me straight out and took me down into the cells. About half six, seven o'clock, there was a van come for me. When you get in the van, you're like a little boy. You're all by yourself. You think you're a big man when you're out on the streets. When you get in the van, you're, little, you're just by yourself. When you're going through estates and that, all the little kids are telling you to F off and swearing at you for when you're going through the estate. And then everyone stares at you in the van and that, everyone looks at the van. And then you start getting weird, thinking, oh, I'm going to get beat up and bullied all people when they gang up on me and uh, make, take me stuff off me and all that. When you're on the motorway, you see all like fields and trees and it just gets closer and closer when you're still watching the road signs and you're just thinking you could take, take things back and then you just and then the next minute you know you're just seeing a big fencing with a sign saying welcome to Weatherby. You're just thinking can I get out of here as quick as I can, what shall I do now I'm in here. Like that, that's the only thing you think of. You, you think of your family more than anything. You're not going to see your dad, your mum, your sisters. You're not going to see no one. No one's going to come and see you. You're all by yourself. You don't know no one in there. I thought I was just going to get away with it, like tag or something like that. Obviously, I didn't. I got a prison sentence.